everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome back to another Express Locomotive review. Today we're going to be looking at another beautiful vintage Hornby locomotive which is the Class 25. Now Hornby Railways first released this Class 25 over 40 years ago in 1977 I believe it was and they, they continued to produce the model for many years until I think the early 2000s or something like that. But uh, anyway this one is mine and if I show you the end of the box very briefly you can see that this one is our 877 Bobo Diesel Class 25 and yes this one is in the blue. So let me go ahead and start getting this out then and there's something quite unusual about mine uh, because most of the locomotives in my collection are all in original condition, they haven't had any modification made to them. But that isn't the case with this one because a previous owner has actually uh, weathered this and they've added quite a bit of detail to it, specifically on one of the buffer beams here. I removed some of the detail from one of the buffer beams so that I could fit on a, a proper coupling so that I could couple it to my rolling stock. But uh, anyway, here it is, uh, looking actually quite modern and detailed because of the, uh, the weathering and the extra detail fitted onto there. But uh, yes, that's it. The, uh, the class 25 and uh, just for comparison here is a non weathered class 25 it's uh, the same model made with the same tooling but uh, this is probably more original and actually this one was the uh, the first diesel model I ever bought so anyway here's a little bit of information on the class 25 and after that I will give you a nice close-up of uh, this one so the class 25 was introduced in 1961 in real life and they were known officially as the Sulza type 2 they are extremely numerous with 327 being produced Produced in total, and because of this, they earned themselves the nickname Rats because literally they could be seen everywhere on the British railways. Withdrawal began in the 1980s, and the last was taken in 1987, and 20 of the class has been preserved in total. So straight out of the box then, these Hornby Class 25s were always very, very basic. But it seems to me that the previous owner of mine has worked really hard to make this thing look detailed. So first of all, yeah, of course the weathering is superb. And this one looks like it's really been dragged through the mire, as you can see, especially the underframe detail. Just looks so much more realistic for having all of that weathering on it. But other details that I particularly like about this is the way that the buffers have been done. As you can see, there's no dirt on the point of contact on the buffers there, because presumably in real life they would rub together and so the dirt wouldn't be present there. A really nice touch, I love that. This particular model has what look like lamp irons fitted to the front, I assume that might be what they are, and also it's got real handrails fitted to the front. I believe they were just moulded pieces on, uh, well they are on my other Hornby Class 25 at least. And up on the top as you can see the weathering really makes this thing look a lot more realistic, especially the fan grill of course, and also the, uh, the vent in the top there, which I suppose is the exhaust, is a lot more realistic than on the original Hornby version. Now the windows are so dirty that you can't actually see inside the cabs but uh, unfortunately there isn't any cab detail inside there which is a little bit of a shame but that's not a massive deal. And as I mentioned briefly earlier the buffer beam on the other side of the loco where the coupling isn't has a lot of nice detail on there including some realistic uh, chain link couplings which are lovely. But other than that the lettering is pretty much as you expect it to be. You've got uh, quite nicely applied lettering there and of course you've got the British Railways logo going on there. Quite Quite a nicely detailed model now and it just shows you what uh, a little bit of skill can do for the models. Okay, let's see how it runs then, shall we? So there she is then, my lovely old-fashioned Hornby Class 25 and she's coupled up to some intercity coaches which I hope you'll enjoy seeing with her. Then on the middle line I've got my slightly later non-weathered version with uh, a bit of a goods train and then finally on the inside line I've got the uh, the later Backman Class 25 slash 1 I think which has got some uh, green coaches there which should look lovely with her. Now obviously as you know the previous owner did a lot of modification to this locomotive and in the spirit of that I thought it would be quite nice if I did some modifications of my own. So what I actually did was I fitted cab lights to this thing. Uh, with a capacitor so that they stay on even when the power's off. So if I just turn the controller up a bit, you can see the lights come on there in the cab. And if I switch the controller off, the cab lights stay on for a little while. So it doesn't matter if there's uh, you know an uneven track work. But as you can clearly tell, this is the ring field motor, by the way. The, uh, the, smooth, the slow running isn't absolutely fantastic. I mean, it can't go much slower than that, really. Yes, it's got the coaches, but actually without the coaches, it doesn't do a lot better than that. But considering the age, it really isn't too bad, and it's got a fair bit of power to it. Again, not a massive amount because the loco is quite light, but she does the trick. So let's get her going then with the coaches. Okay, here's the Hornby one then, off she goes. Ooh, a little bit of a struggle there with all this goods. 
and then the Bachmann one. Now there are lots of other diesels out on the line today so see if you can count and comment how many you can spot and there is an odd one out so if you can spot that one also let me know what it was. You won't win anything but uh, you'll get my congratulations, there you go. So let me know in the poll then, which would you rather have? Would you uh, would you rather go with the old school Hornby version or the uh, the sort of new school Backman version? Which one floats your boat the most? As you can see though, the uh, the Hornby one with a little bit of TLC can really look the part, and uh, she does just a superb job. She really is a good runner. As she goes with a good strain. Some of those wagons I haven't run for a little while, so it's nice to see those again. And there goes the Backman one, which is all singing, all dancing, but it doesn't have lights, which I found strange, to say the least. But uh, regardless of that, it's a beautiful model. Uh, in the green, of course, the other two I have are blue, but uh, nope, the back one's green, and I, I really like that. So here are my ratings then for the Hornby Class 25, the vintage ratings of course, so detail 3 out of 5, power 3 out of 5, slow speed 2 out of 5, quality 5 out of 5, value 20 to 40 pounds is what you can normally get these for, 5 out of 5 I think. Overall then that is 7.41 out of 10, a very reasonable score. In she goes then to the vintage rankings in second place just above the GWR railcar and below the Hornby Class 58. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> she looks great with the lights though, don't you think? I wasn't skilled enough, and I'm probably still not, to uh, put actual headlights on the thing. But uh, cab lights, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> and I had fun doing it. It was just a little bit of fun, you know. Mess around with some electronics, get the thing to work. Yeah, it's quite satisfying. Anyway folks, I hope you enjoyed seeing an express review again for a change. I'm going to try and do a few more over the next few Mondays, so watch this space if you'd like some more express videos. But for now, that's all I've got to say, so hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the, uh, the Hornby Class 25. And as always, have a great day, and I will see you very soon. Alright, cheers everybody.